Hi Facebook, I am going to try to do this video one-handed here because every time I have my kids film it, it's a little bit too wobbly. So I'm going to try to do this by myself. Anyway, this is a lesson that I borrowed and modified from an art book. And it's something you can do with any age. I mean, every art lesson can be done by people at any age of life. As long as they are able to hold a pencil, hold a crayon, and um, manipulate the different art tools. But there's no like age limit, like, oh, when you get to 15 or 20, you're too old to try this art or art lesson because they're honestly great for for every age so this is a geometric kind of zigzag project and it allows kids to work with a ruler and a pencil and crayons and um, for this project I focused on some complementary colors so I'm gonna just move this out of the way so what you want to do is have your child work with ruler. And I noticed that a lot of homeschool kids that I've done art lessons with have a limited ability with rulers. And um, this is a skill that, and maybe I did too, maybe it's not just homeschool, but when I got to college and I was in art school, I had to really learn how to use a ruler. We used rulers all the time. So this is just a crappy cheap ruler, but it still works. Um, so what you're gonna do is have your child, like if they're not used to using a ruler, you can show them the inch, inches side and the centimeter side. And if they're older, you can just say, make zigzag patterns all over your page, horizontally and vertically. But if they're younger, you can walk them through step by step. So let's say, this is where it's going to get. I think I'm going to just have to pretend I'm drawing the lines because I'm one-handed right now. So let's say I was doing this line right here. You can have your child like hold their ruler and put it on an angle and you could tell them measure four inches. So then draw the line to four inches. Then have them line up the ruler at the zero mark and tell them to measure five inches and now we're going at a downward angle then have them line up the zero mark and now you're going to go up six inches and you've now just made one side of the zigzag then you're going to measure and you can make these any width you'd like so let's say you're going to measure one and a half inches across and then you make a little dot and maybe you'd come down and you do it again and then you're t having your child line up those two dots and we're going to measure six inches to come back to this little corner here. And those two dots serve to keep that line really straight. So then you just finish measuring four inches, draw the line, another four inches, draw the line. And you're working with them back and forth to make the zigzag patterns with the ruler, keeping straight lines, doing measurements. So that is one really good skill. Then you're going to have them pick two complementary colors. And I left my color wheel on another table. I'm not gonna be able to get it. But if you look at the color wheel, you have primary colors, red, yellow, blue, and secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. And the colors that are opposite each other are complementary and there are tertiary colors which are like in between those colors that's what makes the crayon box have so many colors because there's slight variations yellow can be there's many different shades of yellow so yellow and purple are complementary they're opposite on the color wheel and then what you want to do is I would say take turns coloring your stripes and your patterns, like use yellow, then use the, a purple, and use 
differing shades. So this is, I used a lighter purple here and I'm going to do a darker purple. You can have your child like experiment with pressure where they are pressing. Maybe you start in the corner and you're pressing really hard. And then have them lighten up with pressure and lighten up and lighten up. So that's like another technique that they could be working on. Okay. So then they can fill out and complete the entire page. And then one other thing that could be done at the very end just to make it more finished looking or stand out is you could take a black Sharpie marker and you can do all these little details around um, the pencil lines. So that's my project. Really simple, really easy, it's fun. Um, I plan on putting some more kids art project videos on. Please subscribe and like this video and come back for more. Thanks.